Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Technology Explorer. In this video, I am going to tell you how you can make this type of elbow in sheet metal in solid bars. And then I will also uh, save all these bodies separately in my hard drive. And after that, I will generate the DXF files for laser cutting or for development lens. And then I will flatten uh, this part. So keep watching this video till end. Okay, let's start. First of all, let's start from a new part and then click on front plane and then sketch on it. So, um, in the beginning, we have to uh, draw two lines like this. Press escape button and then like this. Select both these lines and make them equal and also construction geometry. Then, define the angle of the elbow. Let's say I am going to draw or make the elbow 1 to 0 degree. After that, uh, draw a circle. This circle will basically uh, define the radius of the uh, elbow. So draw it and then select it, make, make it for construction geometry. After that, uh, press and hold control key from your key keyboard and then select this line and this circle make their relation tangent same for uh, this side this line make their relation tangent now define the diameter of the circle if you want to make uh, the elbow at the radius of uh, let's say 150 um, millimeter so you have to define the diameter of this circle 300 300 millimeters now uh, next step is that we have to define the accurate location of this center point so for that again draw a center line like this start it from here then like this same for this side now select this line and this line make their relation equal so now you can see our uh, sketch is fully defined now draw some lines as we are going to make this elbow um, in sheet metal so for that select line from here and start drawing from the origin like this. And press escape key. Now select this line and the circle. Make their relation tangent. Similarly select this line and the circle make their relation tangent. And uh, again select this line and the circle. Make the relation tangent. Now select all these lines one by one. And make the relation equal. So again our sketch is fully defined. Uh, just save and exit from sketch mode by pressing this button. Now we have to draw a circle um, perpendicular to this line. So for that uh, we have to find the plane. I think it's right plane. So on right plane, uh, sketch on it and then draw a circle. Now after that, uh, define the diameter of the circle. This is the basically diameter of the elbow. Uh, let's say it's 60 millimeter. Then uh, go to features tab, select swept both base command and then select the circle as a profile and then this line as a path and press OK button the 1 to 0 degree angle this angle and the diameter of the circle was the radius of the uh, elbow so now that we have to use shell command instead of swept cut command so uh, select shell command from here and in the parameters type the um, thickness of the sheet so let's say it's 1 millimeter then select uh, both these faces and then press ok button Okay, next step is that we have to make a cut uh, for sheet metal. So for that, again click on front plane and then sketch on it. Make normal to by pressing Ctrl plus 8 key from your keyboard and then draw a sketch like this. Go to features and from here select extruded cut command. Here you can see. Uh, the cut thickness should be 0.5 mm and uh, drop down this um, this menu and from here select mid plane 
and then press ok button next step is that we have to separately save all these uh, parts so for that in the direct editing tab uh, the command split is used so uh, to use split command we must have to save this part in our uh, hard drive for that uh, control plus s to save this part then define the location and uh, uh, then make a new folder sheet metal so in the sheet metal uh, name this part as a main part and then save now um, again on the front plane sketch on it make normal to by pressing control plus 8 key from your keyboard and then draw some lines uh, like this now uh, press and hold control key from your keyboard and select this line and this line make the relation collinear same for both these lines now uh, go to direct editing tab if you do not have this direct editing tab in your solid box then right click somewhere here like features and then from here select direct editing so now uh, in the direct editing select split command sketch has been selected automatically and then select cut part so these are total four bodies which have been uh, generated automatically so if you want to name them automatically so then click auto assign names or if you want to name them individually one by one then just double click on one by one all these bodies and then save them save them individually Uh, now uh, what we have to do we have to click on ok button so now we have saved all these parts one by one in our hard drive now we can open that folder where we have saved uh, these files here you can see body 1 2 3 and 4 and this is the main part so let's say uh, I'm going to open body 2 so here you can see uh, this is the body 2 if you want to save the sheet metal part as a DXF file for laser cutting for that we have to uh, go through the sheet metal tab here and then uh, we have to insert bands in the insert bands select uh, the fixed entity or like this edge and then band radius this is the circle and in the circle there is no band like uh, um, other sheet metal parts so this does not matter then leave the k factor as it is and then press ok button click on flatten and here is the development of the sheet metal now you can save this part as a dxf or a dwg file for laser cutting and select save as now from here save as type select dxf then click save button then press ok button here is the preview of our DXF, uh, just save. Now I have laser cutting software here and uh, I will show you how you can import that DXF in the laser cutting software. So uh, control plus I for import then select and then open. Here is the sketch for laser cutting. So um, click on start for laser cutting and if you have to um, define the settings of the laser cutting then you can define them here 